So here we are on the 12th tee. Uh, this is a short par four, which is kind of a risk and reward hole. There's a lot of different ways to play this. Uh, the gold tee here, as you can see, is set back. It's playing 280 yards today into the wind, hence why I pulled the driver out. Now, visually from the tee here, you can see the flag in the green. It's in a straight direction right in front of us. However, there's a lot of fairway to the left. Okay, that sometimes you might not take into account when you're actually lining up your shot. Sand uh, that's banked downwards all the way on the right hand side, all the way down to the green, but it is quite a generous fairway. The line off the tee, if we can see in, in, uh, in the distance, I'm gonna go somewhere between um, the, uh, the, tele the telephone pylon, that looks a little bit like a giant uh, palm tree, and the, the, the max sign on pretty much where the flag is. I'm gonna try and get it as far down there as possible. This green, however, is very tricky, okay? Very, very uh, skinny and long, and anything short or long can roll either down or back to your feet. So it all depends on the tee shot here. You might want to take something a little bit shorter, perhaps even a long iron or a hybrid, and leave yourself a full shot in that you know that you can land on the green. Anyway, we'll give the driver a go, see where we can hit the tee shot. Right, so pretty good drive there, directly in line with the flag. It kind of got, almost got on the green there, like you probably hear the wind. It's quite strong today, but anything short will tend to roll back down that hill where I've ended up uh, pretty close to the green. Probably got about 25, 30 yards left of the flag, which I'm gonna try and chip on with my sand wedge. Um, you can't see the depth of the green from this uh, point that we're standing at the moment, but once we get on the green, you'll be able to see how tight and narrow that, that landing area is. So you've got two options ready from here. You can bump and run. I often see people uh, taking their putter out from here and just trying to put it up the hill. Uh, Got to be a little bit more brave and uh, try and chip it straight on. So now we're here at the green, you can really see how narrow uh, the, the putting surface is. You saw from my chip shop as I popped it up onto the green, uh, there's quite a steep bank. As you can see over the back of the flag, Again, the bank runs down. If you overhit, you could end up 20, 25 yards away and with another difficult shot ahead of you there. So I've just brought you here to show you the narrowest part of the green, which is pretty much in the center. Um, it's about only about eight yards. One, two, three, four, five, eight. It's so only eight yards deep. All right, so very, very short landing zone. So it depends on where the flag is on a specific day. Uh, anything over on that right side of the green off the tee, there's a lot more uh, putting surface to work with. So here's the result of my uh, chip shot. I've knocked it to within about eight feet. Uh, so I've got another birdie chance. This put ahead of me slightly downhill and a little bit of uh, right to left. Bit of a testy one, actually, this one. So let's see if I can make another birdie.